Hi, let me show you some code. When you delay the invocation of a function, that function will be invoked later by the runtime library of JavaScript and will run as an orphan computation. You no longer have control upon that orphan computation. The function will return or throw towards its invoker, that is, the runtime library, not you. Therefore, an orphan computation is only useful for the side effects it performs or the computation it starts. It is useless to return or throw from a orphan computation. However, throwing a problem without handler to fix that problem is, well, problematic. Here I delay a function named running. Zero means that running should be invoked as soon as possible, but of course only after the end of the current computation. However, I start an infinite loop, so I do not release control, and the running function is not invoked. When I kill that computation, now running runs. The next example shows that returning a value is similar to put it in a dustbin. Fortunately, we have a console log call in that function to signal that it was invoked. I kill a computation and now about to return is printed. The third example shows that throwing an error you did not capture is shown by the runtime. This is an uncode exception and you should work hard to avoid them. So here I'm stuck in the infinite loop as usual. If I kill this computation, you see that the throwing function was invoked and you see that in the call stack you only have the timers.js modules that invoke our throwing function. That's all.